Okay, Jamie, here we are in Photoshop and I just brought over this photo from Lightroom. Now I made basic adjustments in Lightroom, lens correction, uh, basic exposure and color, uh, you know, a vertical perspective correction, whatever I could do basically to, that I wanted to get done with the raw file because once I start working in Photoshop and start working with plugins, then we lose that ability for that huge dynamic range that we get in the raw. Okay, so we want to start with a fairly good photo or as good as we can get it before we start doing all of our artistic work to it. So um, I'm going to show you what I've always used uh, as a technique and hopefully this will help your workflow a little bit and make things a little bit more creative for you. Okay. All right. So the very first thing I want to do is I do not want to work on this layer. I want to create another layer to work on and I want to preserve this layer in the background in case I need to come back to it or if I want to paint onto it or that sort of thing. So the very first thing that I'm going to do is make a copy of this layer. The easiest way to do this is just to grab a hold of the layer itself, left click and hold and drag it down to the little layer icon down here. So we'll just grab, hold, drag and drop. Okay, that makes a brand new layer for us. All right, so we're going to work on this layer to begin with. Anytime we need a new layer to work on, uh, from the background. We just grab the background, drag it down, and we get a fresh background layer. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that for now though, so don't pay attention to that. Alright, so we're going to click on the new layer to work on that, and we're going to open up this layer in Topaz Glow. So I'm going to find my Topaz plugins, and we're going to come down to Glow. Okay, so here we are over in Glow. Now, we are making this adjustment on the entire layer. That's okay though. Um, because what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to show you how to blend this and use what you want. So uh, essentially, you know, you're going to take and get the effect that you want overall. Okay. So you get what you like here. Uh, and then you can make your adjustments, obviously, by controlling all of this stuff in here. Okay. So we can get it exactly the way that we want to. So I'll fiddle around with this just a little bit. Okay, so I have some things the way that I like it there. All right, now um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead. Now, if I need to pre-visualize about where I'm gonna paint into an area, you can actually use the blend mode down here and get an overlay. So you can kind of see what it's gonna look like in certain areas. You can control the strength of what that overlay looks like. Okay, so uh, what I wanna do is I'll kind of wanna paint in this uh, cool effect a little bit in the sky. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, going to get the effect exactly where I, I'd like to see it uh, when I'm finished. So I'm really only concentrating on what it looks like in the sky right now. So kind of dig that right there. All right, let's go with that. All right, now I can change this back to normal before I continue. So that just gives me that really dark. Or I can go on with the particular effect exactly the way I want to see it. We can control this after the uh, after the fact, after I've done this uh, in a quite an easy manner. So I'm just going to do normal. I'm going to show you how that works. So go ahead and hit OK. And this is going to take us uh, back into Photoshop. Now, as you can see, this is, you know, the whole screen. It is not what we want. But what we've done is created a layer now. And if I select that screen, just like I had it in Topaz itself, you can see that that comes right back. And then I can control the strength of that by controlling the opacity. All right. All right. But just for editing purposes, let's just leave it in normal for now. Okay. So I can really see the effect. All right. The next thing that we want to do is that we don't want this effect everywhere. So we want to come down here and click on the layer mask. So go ahead and click on that. Now that's going to create a white box. The white represents every place that we want to see the effect. And if we paint inside this box black, it will remove the effect from the lower layer that we have here. So I'm going to grab my paintbrush and it then we'll switch since we're in the mask, it will switch to black and white. We're on black right now. I'm going to expand the size of my brush. I'm kind of going to use a soft brush right here, but watch, I'm going to paint black and you're going to be able to see the photo underneath now magically appear. Okay, so this becomes like a very cool way to paint now because you've got this effect of the topaz going on. So I'm just going to paint around. I don't really want that 
See how that like glow thing is going around the building? I really don't want that right now for this part. You might want that, that's fine. Okay, I'm just gonna edge that up there. Notice that I'm erasing it everywhere else. Remember if you're having trouble seeing the mask, you can turn off the layer below it and you can see exactly what needs to be erased, okay? We'll turn that back on. So remember, whatever is black in the mask will show what's underneath it. Whatever's white will show what's above it. All right, so I've got that up in the sky the way I want. Now I can play with the layers in order to get it exactly the way I want it blended. So you can see there's all sorts of neat effects here. And I really liked that kind of like wispy cloud look thing that was going on with the screen. Okay, and then you can go ahead and adjust from there. You can you can come down here and adjust your opacity to remove some of the effect or add some of the effect. Get it balanced exactly the way that you want. All right, now we've got that effect and we want to layer in something else. So we need to create another background copy. So you're going to go ahead and drag this down here, create a new background copy. And we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to go over to Topaz. We're going to open up this time. Let's open up Impressions. We'll do something a little different. Okay, here we are in Topaz Impressions. And now uh, I would like to do a different effect on the water. So I kind of like this colored pencil look or one of these. Let's see if we can find something cool in here. I mean, definitely can find something cool because there's a lot of cool stuff. I kind of like stuff that looks a little bit impressionistic without there we go look at that that's cool I like that all right so I like that effect and just like we did in glow we're gonna just go ahead and um, apply this and then it'll bring it over into a layer now you notice it's the whole screen right we don't want that we just want part of it so go ahead and create a layer mask all right and then we're gonna paint out now the sky part of this. So here I am painting the sky out. Now notice the minute I do this that not only the background no longer is affected but now that foreground layer that we did the glow on now appears. See we can turn that on and here's the glow layer. See that? And you can you can double click on these and call them so you can keep track of this. You can call them exactly what they are. All right. So I'm going to continue to paint. Now, remember, you need to be clicked on the mask box when you're painting this black and white. So you're only affecting uh, what you want to. All right. So there, now I'm only affecting the water. So I got this cool effect in the water. I got the cool effect in the sky. But yet, now the bridge and everything is all its own deal, right? So I can even do another effect just for the bridge and all that stuff so you get a good idea of how this works uh, and then if you if you want to if you've decided that you're good to go um, one of the other things that you can do is you can combine these layers to do an overall effect over all of it so th that's super easy you click all three layers okay come down here and drag it onto that layer duplicate okay and once you've got that then you can come up here to your layer and then merge layers, okay? And that's gonna create that entire thing. Like if I turn all these off now, nothing changes because I've combined all those layers into one layer. Now the reason why we do that is because if we mess up, we wanna go back, we have the safety of these other layers underneath that we can go back to. All right, now we can apply whatever we want to this whole composition that we have that everything combined. So if I want to put a texture over this, um, just for the heck of it, since you're already here with me, let's go into Topaz Texture Effects. Okay, here we are in Topaz Texture Effects and it's affecting the whole thing. So here we go, look at, look at that, look at that one click, man. And you still have the water the way that I liked it, the sky, you can still see that, okay? And, and remember too, that you can also, once you've done this, if you want to do the same thing that we did before and only paint the texture in, just do the same exact thing. Create a layer out of that merged layer. Go into your effect, Topaz, Texture Effects, Sweetness. I really like that. I think that is awesome. Oh, I'm so glad I did this. All right, and then I'm going to click OK. That is killer. I took a photo that I was kind of like, eh, about and made it into something pretty cool. And now what I can do 
is if I, if I don't want much of the texture on the city itself or wherever, I can go ahead and create my mask again and, and then I can just paint out wherever I don't like it. Now, what's cool about this is that when you're painting, you don't have to paint with 100% opacity. You can turn it down into like 14% and you can kind of just dust around and maybe take parts of it out and really fine tune. Like maybe, you know, this is too much of a distraction. So I just want to remove a little bit of it. Like it's a little dark right there, right? Okay. And, and so we can use this lighter brush to kind of just make our adjustments, right? Very soft and very organic. So I really hope this helps you out, man, and helps you uh, get your workflow a little bit better uh, and kind of visualize a little bit what's going to happen in the end. And of course, when you're done with this, you can save it as a PSD file, and that way you can come back and edit it at any point in time. It'll go right back in and be fully viewable in Lightroom, and when you save it, and you can re-edit it as long as you edit original from Lightroom, or you can export it as a JPEG, which is what I'm going to do and make it the cover of your video. All right. Thanks, Jamie. I hope you enjoy this. I will talk to you soon.